Slobbish Dragon Princess might be an Arage that flew under your radar. The series doesn't try anything too exciting outside of making a dragon girl a waifu, but its approach at comedy sometimes lands. With the sequel announced for the West, the fan disc Slobbish Dragon Princess Love Plus bridges the gap between releases so fans don't go long without their neat dragon. Slobbish Dragon Princess Love Plus simply allows players to choose one of three routes from the game's opening, Haru, Suzaka, and even Dorami. It's asked that you play the base game first, and I can agree with this because there are a few unique moments of character growth here in terms of Takaru and Haru's relationship. However, no matter which event you choose, you can expect some romantic outings with the characters. Dorami's route is probably the main reason you'd want to play this because she wasn't romanceable in the main game. In this release, her personality goes largely unchanged, but she does devise a plan to get to Haru through Takuru. And I'm sure you know where this ends up. Haru and Suzaka's routes carry a little more weight to them, given that the extra story content allows them to build on their already established personalities. For example, Haru shows more depth in her character as she gets jealous and almost pouty, but knows how to read her room and not let her emotions show too much. She's also given a bit of independence away from from Takaru and finds out that she can have fun even without him. Still, she gets her way sooner or later. But it's nice to see a different side of her besides being an airheaded dragon girl. The themes of being in need are still ingrained in Takaru's character, but even he sees a subtle shift in tone. The people he surrounds himself are actually good friends who aren't afraid to tell him when he's messing up. Scenes play out similarly throughout each route, where his talking gets him into trouble or some other situation, but then he realizes that he might have taken it too far and dials it back. Moments after you read Slobbish Dragon Princess Love Plus, you'll probably forget about it. It leaves no lasting impression but it does its best to stay relevant at the moment. It's an extremely short fan disc as well. If you enjoyed the character ramblings from the base game, that's all here with what seems to be a little more thought poured into the general pacing as not to waste the reader's time. It's evident that there's one significant reason someone would want to play this visual novel and that's the age scenes. Surprisingly, the offerings are pretty slim, with each scenario only providing one romance encounter. This just makes Dorami's scene the cherry on top, but the scenario is also used to establish a character a little more for the sequel, I'm just assuming though. The CGs are light and most focus on the age content, but there are a few cute chibi CGs that sell the comedic tone of the story. The environments aren't all that special and I can't seem to remember the music even if I tried. For the asking price of $5, Slobbish Dragon Princess Love Plus does put a lot of effort into its overall quality. The voiceover is great, which only sells the comedic aspect of the dialogue. Slobbish Dragon Princess Love Plus won't change your mind on the series one way or the other, but it does well at providing quick and cute outings with these characters. It also establishes a nice support system for Takaru as his friends become closer and more understanding of their unique situation. It's low impact for sure, but if you couldn't get enough of this slobbish dragon, well, here you go. Noisy Pixel is giving Slobbish Dragon Princess Love Plus a 6.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review on NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.